Morning, neighbors. Hello, neighbors. Good morning. Welcome, Hammy. Let's get the day started. Okay, guys, we're gonna talk a little bit about wheel spacers. Now, since I've put the new rims and tires on, I've received quite a few people uh, asking about spacers, which is understandable because I have five millimeter spacers all around. So what is a wheel spacer? It's actually something that's designed to allow you to run a rim and or a tire setup that wouldn't typically fit. It gives you a little extra clearance room by kicking out your rims and your tires away from the car. So now let's discuss why I have them. I purchased a staggered set of Hellcat rims and they're 20 by 9 in the front, 20 by 10 in the back. And on the front type, on the front rims are 275s and on the back is 315s. So when we went to put the backs on, the rim was almost touching the sway bar. It was like that close. So had I hit a pothole bed or any kind of issue, you know, there could have been potential, you know, there could have been a big problem with uh, the rim scraping that sway bar. So I put the five millimeter spacer in there just for in case, you know, you just never know. Um, and I don't really want to deal with any kind of grinding or any kind of issues like that. So the wheel spacer in that case was 100% needed. Now the fronts, um, the rim fit on perfectly, but then we slipped on the 275s and soon realized that when you turn the wheel, the, the tire was pretty much hitting the inside of the wheel well. And, you know, that is something that you don't want to deal with either. So, really the rim fit fine, and had I just put 245s on the front, it would have been, uh, the no spacer would have been needed. But I chose, you know, what the heck, I'll put 5mm spacers on and I will be able to run the 275s. So, that's what I did. And now I have just enough clearance, both back and front, to run the setup that I have. As there's a, a ton of people that are on the camp of whether you should or shouldn't run wheel spacers. I'm not going to get too far into that. Um, I think, in my personal opinion, if you keep it small, like the 3 millimeter or the 5 millimeter, you shouldn't have any issues. It's not enough to compromise the integrity of the, uh, the setup. So, um, I myself reached out to a bunch of people with five millimeter spacers and they have not reported any kind of issues back to me. And so that's why I felt comfortable with this setup. And as of right now, I have no complaints whatsoever. So that is the spacer. That is my setup, and um, for anybody that's looking into a spacer, you know, I hope this helps.